Hi guys, my name is Michael Song and I'm a third year petroleum engineering student and I'm the president of the SP Kern student chapter. I'm here today at the Schlumberger Perth office in Australia and I'm going to be talking to Nicole Cooper, a sales engineer at Schlumberger, about her experiences with the company. Hi Nicole, thanks for joining us today. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about how you got to be where you are today? Sure. So I studied civil engineering at Arizona State University. After my junior year, my third year of uni, I did a summer internship with Schlumberger. So I worked at, on a couple rigs in North Dakota for the summer. Uh, subsequent to that, I did three more internships that were more closely aligned to civil engineering and construction. And everything was boring <laughs> compared to working yeah. on a rig. So when I got close to graduation, I applied for Schlumberger. And I told them that uh, I wanted to work overseas and I wanted to work in the field. Yeah. So I was lucky enough to get a job in Western Australia as a DNM field engineer. So I did that for three and a half years. And then I worked in our operations support center in Perth for a year. And then I was transferred to Tokyo. And I worked in Tokyo as our global technical support for the drilling acoustic tools for two years. And then um, lucky enough to get transferred back to Perth. <laughs> Uh, and I'm now the sales engineer for Geoservices, which is another segment within Schlumberger. And I'm responsible for sales for Australia, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, and East Timor. So Nicole, what exactly does a sales engineer do and what does a typical work day entail for you? So the beauty of sales is that every day is completely different. Uh, there's no typical day for me. Uh, my responsibilities include um, tendering and contracts management, client relations, opportunity identification, technology presentations, industry event participation, and a whole lot more. So um, given all of that, every day is completely different. Um, I would say in a typical work week, I meet with at least three, if not three to 10 clients um, for service quality meetings, for uh, contract reviews, for negotiations, for tendering, for operations updates, and just in general, client relationship management. Um, I also attend industry events, so I represent Schlumberger or my segment uh, at particular events. So I go to Women in Oil and Gas, SPE, uh, Fezos, uh, any, any industry event that's uh, ongoing at the time. And then also I I identify opportunities, I, I update our pipeline, our opportunity pipeline and our forecast so we, we have an idea of what's coming um, and I try to win that work. I also follow up on any leads, any questions or concerns that our clients have um, and then I work closely with other sales and account managers to achieve all of that. So Nicole, as a young professional, what was the most memorable moment in your career for you? So Schlumberger has a, a program or a promotion called a, a GFE, a general field engineer. And what it entails is that you do a project that's six to 12 months long. It's technical in nature and has to show some financial benefit to the company. You complete your project and then you present it to all the senior management in your location and they will pass or fail you. In addition to this, you have to demonstrate that you understand uh, the functions within Schlumberger. So you are interviewed by the managers of each of those various functions, HR, finance, um, HSE, operations, etc. And they quiz you on your knowledge within that realm of the company. So it's, it's a big stepping stone for Schlumberger because it means that like, not only is it a huge amount of work to do it, um, but it also means that in your career, it's a point where you can move from being in the field to management if you want to. Um, so it's it's a big stepping stone and a huge achievement, and it's it's noted in the industry accordingly as well. So Nicole, what are the skills that are used most commonly as an engineer in industry? I am a big believer that regardless of your industry, regardless of your profession, that communication is the number one skill to have. Um, because it doesn't matter how technical you are, how well versed you are on a particular subject matter, whatever. Uh, if you can't communicate that with your colleagues, with your clients, uh, with the, the team that you manage, whatever, it's gonna be pointless. So communication is probably the number one skill that I would develop. Uh, second to that is your problem solving or your analytical skills. Every engineer um, is going to encounter 
problems, challenges, roadblocks, whether you're designing something, manufacturing something, whether you're at the well site, it doesn't matter. Uh, and the way that you deal with those problems will differentiate a good engineer, a great engineer, a fantastic engineer, etc. And then your technical knowledge is just your toolbox. That's what you use to problem solve, and that's what you use to communicate. So um, I believe that, that your problem solving and communication are, are your biggest two.